So today's quick tip is quite an easy one. It's just regarding the toolbar on the Illustrator uh, and the fact that you can customize this. I quite often have people who are doing courses remotely. They maybe have their own machine set up and they or a colleague has installed Illustrator ready for them. And when I start showing some of the tools over on the left-hand side in the toolbar here, they'll suddenly say they're missing stuff and I haven't got that tool. It's something that I'll hear occasionally. And usually what's the cause of this is they've switched over to the basic toolbar without realizing it. And how that happens is if you look down the bottom here you have these three little dots down here and you can edit the toolbar and when you click in there you'll see the tools you're working with and you'll notice on on here some of these are grayed out so i've got the magic wand tool here for example but lasso and, and artboard etc are grayed out and what this is showing me effectively is i'm using certain tools and not others um, and what i need to do in here is if i click on this little marker at the top of this little menu at the top right i should say You'll notice here, it's on the basic toolbar at the moment. Now you can create your own toolbars and manage those, but we won't go into that on this tutorial. But just to show you, if I switch over to the advanced toolbar there, you'll notice everything's now available to me. And I've obviously got all these tools hidden away inside here, for example. And if I click on these, there's a variety of tools mixed around in each one. Whereas if I go back there, switch back over to the basic toolbar, then you'll see there's a whole lot of stuff not included in there. So for example, the magic one's not included, the add and delete anchor point tools are not included, etc. So there's a, there's a whole lot of stuff not showing there. So if you are wanting to see everything and make sure you're not missing anything in here, just switch to the advanced toolbar and make sure you're on that one and then you will see everything. Just take a little bit more space up, but it's, it's worth it because there's some really good tools in there. The other thing is if you're finding this hard to see as a single column, and this is a personal preference thing, Personally, I just find that single column quite long. I find, I find myself looking up and down to find things, and I'm in the habit of working with it as a double column. You can just click the two little arrows at the top, and it switches it to a double column. And for me personally, I just find things a little quicker and easier to find there than they are when it's one big long column. So you can easily do that with the two little arrows at the top. So just a little bit of customization there on the toolbar, but hopefully it just helps somebody make that process a little easier.